The Browns and Bears, Mary Kay, and that means we get to see Deshaun Kaiser against Mitch Trubisky. So a couple of uh, quarterback draft picks from 2017. And the th question I want to ask is when you look at the quarterback situations for both teams, Chicago feels confident they have their guy. He hasn't been great this season, but they feel confident they have their guy. He doesn't have a ton of weapons. The Browns have the number one pick, so they're going to get to pick their guy, hopefully, in this upcoming draft. Mm -hmm. Whose situation do you think is better? Well, you know what? The jury is still out on this. The Browns had an opportunity, obviously, to take Mitch Trubisky number one overall. And there were certain points, at least early on in the draft, where it looked like they might go that route and take the hometown kid from Mentor, Ohio. Instead, they opted for Miles Garrett, who lately he's been having his struggles. Uh, so the jury's still out on the way all of this is going to play out. But the, like you said, the Bears feel like uh, they have their quarterback of the future. And the Browns, they don't know yet, and they're going into this next draft, and they will draft their quarterback of the future probably number one overall, and that will come from a pool of Josh Rosen, Sam Darnold, Baker Mayfield, Lamar Jackson. They've got their pick of the lot. Uh, you know, they're going to have two high picks. And um, so this is going to be a very interesting storyline to watch over the next three or four years. Yeah, and, you know, it's kind of the known versus the unknown. Chicago sort of knows what they have. Now, there's still a lot of development that Trubisky has to do, but he's shown some signs that he can be a very good quarterback. He just hasn't, you know, really hit the ground running and, and put up huge numbers and, and kind of guaranteed that moving forward. So there's questions there. And then, of course, it's the unknown for the Browns. We don't know who they're going to pick, and then we don't know how that guy's going to develop. Yeah, and you know what, though? I mean, I've been talking to people in Chicago. They like the fact that, that Mitch has been very accurate, so that's one thing they really like about him, and that's one thing that, the, that Deshaun is going to have to really work on in the offseason. He has to really increase his accuracy. Uh, but just in terms of mo mobility, decision-making, they're like liking what they're seeing in Chicago. Uh, and, you know, Deshaun shows a lot of those signs here, too. I think he's shown flashes of being really, really good. Uh, but then he comes up with those red zone interceptions uh, and things like that. So uh, once again, uh, the jury is still out on Deshaun's career, Mitch Trubisky's, and the new quarterback the Browns will draft. And it might come down to, can you teach accuracy? Mitch has it, Deshaun doesn't. Uh, the, the one other factor with Mitch, maybe it's for the best for him that the Browns didn't take him because you lose that pressure of having to be the hometown savior. He plays six hours away now. There's a little bit of pressure off him. Not a ton. He's still an NFL quarterback, but a little bit of pressure off. Yeah, you know what? It's tough to come here and be the savior of, of the hometown team, especially when there are so many other pieces and holes that need to be filled in. So, uh, you know, you you would have hated to see him come here and, and you know, kind of go the way of some of the other guys that tried to come here and save this team. Uh, so we'll have to see how this plays out. Maybe when all is said and done, we'll just be saying they both should have just taken Deshaun Watson. <laughs> right. Who knows? We'll have full coverage of the day here in Berea at cleveland.com slash Browns.